Hi, I'm Russ, the real estate dude, and I want to talk to you guys briefly about what interest rates are doing and what they've done in the last couple of weeks. So it is August 2022, and this information will apply to you right now as of the moment. So if you are hearing about interest rates and interest rates on homes have been climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing, that has been true. It's gone up from, you know, I refinance at two and three eighths back a couple of years ago for a 15 year fix, which is an insane number right? Interest rates historically are typically around 7, 8, 9, 10. That's not unusual at all. Sometimes it drops down to the sixes and everybody's thrilled, right? So what has been going on over the recent past is a couple of weeks ago, even back as far as six and seven weeks ago, interest rates had crept up to 6%. In the last four, five, six weeks, they've dropped down to 5% and some even a little bit lower than 5%. I heard somebody recently was in the high fours. I don't know how they got there, but let's just say it's only a 1% difference. If it's better than that and lower than five, even better for you. So what does that mean to you? That means this, on a $350,000 house at a 6% interest rate, your house payment on principal and interest only would be $2,098 per month. Okay, on a same $350,000 house at a 5% interest rate, your principal and interest would be $1,878 on the same exact house, just a 1% difference. Now you might go, Russ, that's not that big of a deal. Okay, well, yeah, it's $217 a month to live in the same exact house, do the same exact stuff. Think of it like this. Your water heater might blow up in the next year. It's gonna cost you $1,000. Your water heater's covered in five months for free. You could blow up two water heaters a year and still be ahead. That's what $217 means to the average person, right? So here's the real rub. $217 per month. You're going to have this mortgage for 30 years, right? You got 30-year fixed mortgage. If you pay all of those payments over that 360 payments, 360 payments for a 30-year fixed mortgage, that is $78,120 over the life alone, $78,120 over life alone. So when somebody says, well, gee, I'm kind of waiting for the house prices to drop down a little bit. You think they're gonna drop down below 80 more thousand dollars in the near future? Probably not. If you're in the Detroit market, Detroit market supply is still ridiculously low, which means there's no way house prices are gonna drop at a 1.5 month supply of homes. So you're holding on to a dream that's not gonna happen. So if you'd like to save $78,000 and at your retirement, have another $78,000 in your pocket doing the same exact thing right now, you should be looking at potentially buying a house if you don't already or haven't already bought a house in this market. I'm Russ Lag the Real Estate Dude. There's a quick, what does the mortgage interest rate mean? Update for you guys. Hope that makes sense and it works for you.